are going to look at how we can chat with our multiple PDF document using Gemini Pro and Langchain framework. All right. So before we get into that, if you've not subscribed to my channel, do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. All right. So let's get into the architecture. So in here, in the injection phase, we have our PDFs loaded and we extract our text right and we split them into chunks so we as you can see they are being split into different chunks okay so the next thing is to create embeddings so it is just the representation of the text into numbers so that it can be fed into the large language model right so you can see the embeddings one embeddings two right so the next thing is we create a semantic index an understanding of the text of the embeddings and they are stored in the knowledge base. So in here we find the relevant doc base on the similarities. Okay, so whenever the user asks a question, it creates a query embeddings just like here embeddings and it creates an understanding and a semantic search in the knowledge base trying to find answers and similarities. Okay. So once it gets the answers, it's sent to the rank results. So the answers are being ranked. So you can say top three um, results and it's being part to the large language model. All right, and it gives the user the most relevant answer. All right, so let's get into the Collab in here, we are going to install these packages. So we are going to install Langchain, Pi PDF, the Chroma DB, and the generative Google Generative AI, and the Langchain Google Gen AI and Python dot EMV. So when I run it, right. So the next thing is to import these packages, right? We are going to import the generative AI to create our model. So we call it Gen AI, the prompt template to pass the prompt to be sent to the LLM. And we load, we import the load keyword chain to create our question and answers. And the by PDF directory loader to, to interact or load our PDF files and the recursive character text splitter to split the text, the chroma to store the, as the vector store, okay, to store the embedding. So when I run it, so we set up the API key. So we import the Google Collab. We import the user data to store the API key. Okay, so the dot .env is is used to load the API key. All right. So in here is in here is where we are going to put or store our API key. So as you can see, we have the API key. So we can put any name here. So the Google API key is here. All right. So if you want to store create a new one, you place it in here and you give it a name and you put the value of the API key. Right, so I'm gonna show you how you can get the API key. So when you go to this link, you click on create API key in new project. Right, it should set you up to get an API key. All right, so the next thing is we create an environment file in the work workspace in order to store the API key. So you can set it up using this code to check it. You say, right? All right, so the next thing is we load the PDF files. So as you can see, we are here. So we are loading the PDF files. So we are using this 
right, so this is the PDF document. It's a report from the Walmart. Um, all right, so we are going to use this document and ask questions from that using the Pro model of Gemini. All right, so this is a 21-page document. It's a statistics data. All right, so let me run this. So you can run it by, you go to your sample data and the location of your document. So when you click on this one, you copy the path and you paste it here. Okay, so when I print data, so this is the, the data that I uploaded. All right, it's a long uh, document. All right, so the next thing is we split the text into text chunk. So we are using the, char the recursive character text splitter and the chunk size is 1000 and the chunk overlap is 100. So you can change this, you can change this size to meet your need and we joined each of the pages um, from the data. So let me run this and all right. So when we have the text, we split it. All right, so we split each of the content. And when we print the chunks, we have 66 chunks. So let me print the first index. All right, so this is the first chunk. All right, so as you can see here, I've already printed out the first chunk. And so the, we are here, we have created the chunks. And now we are, load, we are loading the model, the embedding model. So we are using the long chain Google Gen AI. We are importing the Google Generative Embeddings to do that. So we load the embedding model, right? Using the embedding model, embedding 001 from Google. So we create embedding for each of the text chunk. So we are storing them into the vector store. All right, so we are using the chroma to store the embeddings. So for each of the text, we create embeddings. And now we are passing our prompt templates and we are saying, please answer the question in as much detail as possible based on the provided context. Ensure to include all relevant details. If the answer is not available in the provided context, kindly respond with the answer. The answer is not available in the context. All right, so we are passing the context and the question and passing that to the prompt. So when I run this, okay, so I'm loading the model. So I'm using the, the long chain Google Gen AI, we are importing the chat Google Generative AI, create a model. So we create a chain and we pass the model and the chain type and the prompt. So, all right, so let me run this. Okay, so now we are ready to answer questions. So I'm gonna say, See you. See. Let's wait for the answers. All right. So it says Walmart is focused on long term success company's most important strategic decisions are made in light of what they want the company to become for the next generation. Leaders during the times of transformation have to be curious, introduce new ideas and ask questions. 
companies need to be comfortable with an intelligent level rex in order to all right so Walmart is not perfect and makes mistakes but the CEO is convinced that if the world could see all of the hard working well in intentioned people inside the company they would be moved well this is this is a great answer so let me see so it's giving me some of the exact information here that that looks really accurate growth company also have to get comfortable with an intelligent level of risk that's great all right so let's ask a question about this document run it again i'm gonna say this Linear version model. All right, and the linear regression model is a statical model that attempts to determine the relationship between one or more independent variables and a dependent variable. It is typically used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the value of the. Okay, that's great. All right, um, they were, this was all that I wanted to show you. And yeah, so do what to play with this. I'm gonna attach this to the, in the description. All right, so if you like this content, do well to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.